Hi and welcome to InsoSuite. In this training video, I'm going to show you around the dashboard and the basic settings you can configure so that you can get started right away. So right now, we are already in the dashboard page here. Now this is the first page you will see once you logged in to your account. You'll be able to access the, the funnel builder here. This is where you can create the pages, sales pages, funnels as well. You can add in your tra conversion tracking and build and design your landing pages here. As for the membership builder, this is where you can create your own membership platform or website rather. This is also where you can sell cross and cross sell your other products to active members as well. You also have the blog builder here. This is where you can publish news, announcement, viral, edu viral and educational contents for your audience through the, the built-in blogging system. You also have here the list builder. This is where you can set up your autoresponder, build your list, and send out mass emails to your email subscribers. You also have here the affiliate center. This is where you can build your own affiliate program, manage your affiliates, and set up different commissions as well. And lastly, we have here the support desk. This is where you can have help desk answer the inquiries of your customers as well. You'll also be able to create some FAQs as well as a built-in knowledge base so that your customers can look through them before sending you any email for help. All right, so all six features are built in inside the InsoSuite platform. All you have to just click on the button of the feature that you want to use and you'll be able to access those. Now for the tutorial on how to use each of the six, we will have separate training videos for each one. Now, from the top here to help you get started really fast is that on the top right, you will see current site here. Now, if you haven't logged in yet, it will ask you to create one site. Now, if you do have multiple websites that you are managing and you would like to keep it under the Institute platform, all you have to do is just click on create site here. And from here, all you have to do is just put in the site name, the URL that you want. You can also put up your own logo so this does not use the InsoSuite default logo here. You can have your own logo show up here. You have the favicon as well. And of course, you can also map your own domain name so that you don't have to use InsoSuite.com. You can have, for example, yourwebsite.com instead of the regular uh, default domain name here. And of course, once you configure this, just click on Set to Active. Click on save site and you can add any domain name that you want here and it's going to be hosted on the InstaSuite server. So once you set this up and let's say for example you want to switch from one website to, a, to the other, all you have to do is just click on current site and click on switch site for every account you want to manage as well. So you can quickly sw switch from one account to the other via the current site platform. So right now I'm the, under lifestyle. Let me switch back to KV Social and now it's switched back and as you can see it goes back to the dashboard as well. So going back from the top, we also have the settings here. This is where we can have the integration page here and this is where you can connect your third party SMTP or any kind of integration you want to add. Now this integrates with GetResponse, Zaxa, PayPal, as well you have here you have here new integration if you click that you're gonna simply select any right any from the 20 plus integrations that you can add here depending on what you want to be integrated to your Insta Suite account now please do note that if you set this up it's gonna happen on a per site basis so if you set it up with a kvsocial.com account you have to set it up on the other accounts as well so you can have one account different from the other all right so each account is going to have a different integration depending on how you want that set up going back to the settings here you also have the manage team option here this is where you can create new accounts for different team members so each person will have their own logins as well as different level of access set up for that so all you have to do to invite a new team member is click on invite team member here and add in the username or email address if that person does not have an insta suite account yet and a registration link will be sent to that email asking him or her to create 
an account and that will be automatically be linked to this account that you have set up and just like the settings is going to happen on a per site basis as well all right so let's go back and from here the last part here would be changing up your profile so each person or each account access will have its own profile name showing up here and this is where you can change the profile settings if you open this up this will allow you to change the username and password as well as the country and if either whether you want to display the powered by is suite or not all right this is also where you can change the password and download a wordpress plugin and api token if you want to set up insta suite with a wordpress website and of course if you want to log out just click on log out here as well on the drop down list on the top right corner all right so that concludes our quick demo of the dashboard you also have the help icon here if ever you have any problems if you have any questions you can click on the help icon here to get access to support or you can call, you can check out the tutorial section on the left hand side menu so for additional videos on each of the six features here please watch the next